Hare Krishna and my humble obeisances to my Shiva Gurudev, His Holiness Vir Krishna Das Goswami is with us live today, all the way from North Carolina, USA. Welcome, Shiva Gurudev. Hare Krishna. Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prashaya Bhutale Shrimate Vir Krishna Goswami Iti Namane Namo Hamsa Nikashaya Prabhupada Priyayate so first I want to take this opportunity to offer my humble obeisances unto His Holiness Shilabir Krishna Das Goswami, who is very dear to Lord Krishna, having taken shelter at his lotus feet. I offer my respectful obeisances to my swan-like spiritual master, who's very dear to Shila Prabhupada because he is faithfully repeating his message with great purity and determination. So, sabi darshuko ka swagat hai aaj mere param puja guru maharaj live hai mere saath aur ye bahut hi adbhut mauka hai adbhut ghadi hai jo ki main aap sabhi ke saath baith sakti hu aur mere gurudev param puja vir krishna goswami maharaj mere saath baithe hain abhi vir krishna goswami is a renowned spiritual leader of the International Society for Krishna Consciousness. He has a special status of being among the first Western-born members of the Brahma Madhva Gaudiya Vaishnav Sampradaya. So, Videsh mein jo bhakti Prabhupada ji leke gaye, unme se sabse shreshd hamare puja Gurudev ji hai. And he has taken it as his mission, his life and soul to spread this Krishna consciousness movement. So welcome, Shiva Gurudev. Hare Krishna. And Thank you very much, Gauramani. Yes. We would like to request you to bless us and bless all the viewers. Please give your blessings okay. and also <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And also, we, um, as you're coming from the West, born and raised in Long Island, I believe, and how is it possible, um, many people feel that though you were born in the West, you have dedicated your entire life in Krishna Bhakti. And please, if you could enlighten us and share with us how you became a part of this Krishna consciousness movement. All right, I'll try to uh, speak rather quickly about it. Um, as Krishna says in the Gita, Swapam uh, Apyasya Dharmasya Trayate Mahatobayat, that when one makes a little bit of endeavor in Krishna consciousness, uh, one doesn't lose that endeavor, and that endeavor saves one from the most dangerous type of fear. And the most dangerous type of fear is losing one's uh, place in the spiritual progressive path. And do you want to translate uh, sentence by sentence or the whole thing? No, we'll just, just the whole thing at once. I think we'll okay. be good. Okay, okay. So, uh, so basically, uh, devotional service or becoming Krishna conscious is a process that takes many, many lifetimes. Mm. So... Uh, when one is automatically attracted to Krishna consciousness, that indicates some progress in one's previous life. Mm -hmm. So what happened in my life, just to give a little life history, is that yes. practically from the very beginning of this body's existence, <laughs> yes. when the soul came into this body and I was not born, the body was right. born. I try to remember that. Mm -hmm. When the soul okay. came into the body, I was asking the question of who am I, what is life all about, and I was automatically attracted to uh, yogic principles, uh, particularly I became a vegetarian. I used to uh, meditate in the forest, even before I came in contact with this divine grace of the Prabhupada, for many hours chanting the mantra Om, and then when I found out about Hare Krishna, I started chanting the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. But the way I found out about the chanting of the Hare Krishna mantra was that one day I was listening to the radio. I don't think I was listening for Bollywood songs, because I didn't know about <laughs> Bollywood 
good songs at that time. Yes, <laughs> right. I was listening to the radio. And uh, lo and behold, in about 1969 or 68, Srila Prabhupada came on the radio when Prabhupada was uh, chanting the Hare Krishna yes. Mantra. And as soon as I heard the chanting of the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra, that sound vibration entered my heart and reminded me of who I was. And of course, in the Chaitanya Charitamrita, it, dis- it says, uh, Brahmanda Brahmate Kondha Bhagavan Ji Guru Krishna Prasadi Bhai Bhakti Latavish. That one may be wandering around all these different universes, but one comes in contact with the Guru through sound vibration. And uh, one gets the seed of the creeper of devotion and that woke me up and from that point onwards i was chanting Hare krishna and it took about two more years before i actually moved into the Hare krishna temple in 1971. Mm -hmm. Uh, anything more you want to know about that i I think that's good i'll I'll translate translate. all right so hamare param puja Bhir Krishna Goswami Gurudev Ji bata rahe hain ki kaise Krishna bhakti mein wo jude wo Long Island se hai New York se hai aur us samay wo keh rahe hain ki ye jo bhakti ka path hai ye pichle janam bade janmantron se ye aaya hua hai kyunki ye ek atma se sambandh hai kyunki hum ye sharir nahi hai hum ek atma hai aur हमारे गुरुदेव जी कह रहे हैं कि जब उन्होंने सुना महामंत्र को पहली बार अमेरिका में रेडियो पे उन्होंने महामंत्र को सुना तब से उससे पहले भी वो योग करते थे मेडिटेशन करते थे और वो यही जानना चाहते थे कि हम कौन हैं और इसी असली पहचान को जानने के लिए वो इच्छुक थे उन्होंने महामंत्र एक दिन रेडियो पे सुना उसके बाद 1971 में उन्होंने हमारे इस कौन मंदिर में जाके अपना पूरा जीवन भगवान की शरण में उन्होंने लिया। Yes, Gurudev. Okay. And, and how did you meet to... Sri Prabhupada? <laughs> well, actually, I was following the Krishna conscious practices from 1969, but I really didn't want to become a member of the Krishna conscious movement because I really relished my independence. You know, I was a student and I had all the facilities in my family. We had a, our own airplanes, our own boats, you know, mansions. I can translate. Like a, I'm thinking I'll yeah, translate, translate, translate line for line. Yeah, why don't so, you translate um, line for line? So, Maharaj Ji said that in 1968, they heard the first mantra in America. Mein. और उनके घर में सब कुछ था उनके घर में हवाई जहाज भी थे महंगी महंगी गाड़ियां थी और बोट भी रखे हुए थे उनके माता पिता बड़े घर से गुरुजी महाराज जी आए हैं लेकिन उस सब चीजों को होने के बावजूद भी उनके मन में इच्छा हुआ कैसे उनको अपना जीवन भगवान की सेवा में समर्पित करना है तो 1969 में उन्होंने ये सब भगवान का नाम सुना 1971 में फिर वो मंदिर में आए। So I was very reluctant to uh, give up my independence and all the you know the op- material opulence I had, but one day I was informed that uh, Shri Prabhupada was coming to where I was, the same city, and Krishna in my heart, uh, he dictated to me and he said, "All right, that's it, surrender to Prabhupada." तो उनके घर में उनके घर में जो माता पिता थे बड़े अमीर घर से महाराज जी आए हैं तो उस समय उनको लगा कि इस इन सब चीजों को मैं छोड़ के कैसे मंदिर जाऊंगा कैसे सन्यासी बन जाऊंगा लेकिन परम पूज्य शिव प्रभुपाल जी आए और जब महाराज जी से मिले उस समय उन्होंने देखा कुछ भी हो जाए मुझे अपना जीवन भगवान की सेवा में लगाना ही है so one thing I wanted to mention is that all the opulence and the stuff that I had from my parents and my own family, it didn't make me happy. And the first time I actually felt like real overwhelming happiness was when I chanted the, the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. So Maharaj Ji said that I didn't get any happiness from all these things. 
जो भौतिक चीजें थे जो संसारिक चीजें थे उससे मैं कभी खुश नहीं था पैसों से बड़े घर से हवाई जहाज से बोट से बड़ी बड़ी गाड़ी से इससे मुझे खुशी नहीं मिली केवल मुझे खुशी तब मिली जब मैंने भगवान का नाम लेना शुरू किया Prophet had also mentioned that uh, many of the devotees who were supposed to assist him were arranged by Krishna uh, to take birth in the Western world, so that when he arrived, he would have plenty of assistance. So, Parvuj Shilaprabhupaji ne ye bataya tha ki jitne bhi bhakt shuru shuru mein jitne bhi bhakt jo America se alag alag deshu se jude Prabhupaji ke liye. भगवान श्री कृष्ण ने स्वयं उनको वहां पे लेकर आए उन सभी को ताकि वो इस सनातन धर्म को आगे वो फैला सके तो उसमें से एक विशेष भगवान श्री कृष्ण ने हमारे परम गुरुदेव जी को प्रभुपाद जी को मदद के लिए उनको भेजा I felt that I had gone back to the spiritual world and I recognized wow. him as my eternal spiritual master. Oh my goodness. Just took 10 <laughs> half a second and I said that's that's, a, that's how I that's feel right I now. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm in the spiritual world because I'm talking to you. Oh, just, it's ecstatic. <laughs> I just, I just gave up everything, changed my whole lifestyle, began to rise early in the morning and uh became a preacher of krishna consciousness almost instantaneously to maharaj ji keh rahe jab pehli baar wo apne gurudev ji se mile unko aisa lage ki unhone bhagwan ke dham ki prapti unko mil gayi unko usse badhkar jeevan mein aur kuch chahiye nahi tha to subah jaldi subah mangalarti 4 baje uthte the jap karte the aur prabhupa ji ki seva mein lage rehte the usse badi cheez is duniya mein unko nahi mila And since that time, of course, I've been serving Prabhupada, and then I had the opportunity to be with Prabhupada a number of times. But I realized that Prabhupada is still with me in terms of my service, in terms of his transcendental books. As Bhakti Vinod Thakur, a great Acharya in our Sampradaya, says, he reasons ill, who says that Vaishnavas die when thou art living still and sound. Yes. तो महाराज जी कह रहे कि ये जो इस्कॉन का जो भी उन्होंने शिक्षा दिया है ये हमारे लिए सबसे बड़ी चीज है तो इसी को हमें आगे बढ़ाना है और ये ही हमारा जीवन का लक्ष्य है so to Srila Prabhupada's service by helping his society and bringing more people to Krishna's lotus feet. And that's my life's mission. When Prabhupada Ji went back to Bhagavan Ke Dham, at that time, our Guru Dev Ji, Vira Krishna Mutas Ko Swami Maharaj Ji, took a sannyas in 1977. And at that time, they had a sannyas that they had a sannyas दृढ़ विश्वास के साथ कि अब मुझे पूरा अपना जीवन भगवान की सेवा में लगाना है सनातन धर्म में लगाना है सो सो We established a temple in uh, North Carolina in the United States and uh, yes. we were very fortunate to have Goramani and her sister there grow up yes. and go to school in our temple and uh, somehow or other we get some spiritual credit for all of her Christian <laughs> conscious activities. Maharaj ji ne bahut hi adbhut bahut hi sundar mandir nirman kiya hai North Carolina mein Iskon Goloka धाम वहां पे और वहीं पे मैं बड़ी हुई हूँ मेरी शिक्षा सब वहीं मैंने पाई है गुरुजी महाराज जी के आ, के साथ साथ और बहुत ही सौभाग्य की बात है कि आज महाराज जी हमारे साथ यहाँ पे हैं so what are the questions you have? All right, so we um, have questions where a lot of people are asking because you did um, establish Nugaloka 
the temple in North Carolina. And of course, you are the GBC for many different places around the world. Um, the question is, what's the best way to bring people to Krishna consciousness or to bhakti? And how can they stay devoted in Krishna consciousness? Wow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's a <laughs> yeah. so, short uh, one. As far as the best way to bring people to Krishna consciousness, uh, we really have to present Krishna consciousness according to the culture in which people are in. In other words, Krishna consciousness itself is transcultural. Mm -hmm. It goes beyond any cultural, individual culture. Mm -hmm. Of course, there's certain essential items, such as the four regulated principles and the chanting of Krishna's name. You want to translate that? Yes. So, bhakti me agar hume lagna hai, bhakti me agar kisi ko leke aana hai, to sabse pehle hume ye jana hai bhakti kya hai, Krishna consciousness kya cheez hai. The Krishna consciousness is bhautik jagat se upar hai. Wo alag hai. To hume sabse pehle ye jana hai ki kaise hum bhakti me lag sakte, bhakti ko kaise hum jaan sakte hai. However, there are certain things that can be adjusted according to time, place, and circumstance, like the type of musical instruments one uses in chanting, or the different types of vegetarian foodstuffs or recipes that one could offer to Krishna. For example, even in India, you have different cultural, let's say, dishes, that is food, that's offered mm -hmm. in different parts of India. So it's not that one part has priority over another part of India. Right. So Maharaj Ji is saying that if we have to go to the temple of the Lord, we have to see how we can go to the temple of the Lord, how we can go to the temple of the Lord, and how we can go to the temple of the Lord, and how we can go to the temple of the Lord. So we have to go to the temple of the Lord. The funny thing is that uh, Many times I am with a group of people from India and I ask them what their favorite food is and invariably they say pizza. The Maharaj is saying that sometimes they hear and meet with Bhartians and the Bhartians who are in India and they ask them what the best food is for you. So they say that we like pizza. So the most effective way, uh, let's say, putting aside the cultural differences, is to bring people to the chanting of Krishna's holy names. Somehow or other, to get people, let me just turn off this other gadget. Somehow or other, to uh, have people hear the holy names from a pure source, which is really important. भगवान का नाम हरि का नाम हमें सुनना है और वो शुद्ध भक्तों के मुंह से अगर हम सुनेंगे हरि का नाम का जो प्रभाव है उससे उत्तम कोई भी चीज नहीं है इस संसार में and uh, that chanting of krishna's names is described uh, by lord kapiladev in the shrimad bhagavatam bhavanti ritkarna risayana katha the Joshinadashu Apavarga Bartmani Shraddha Rati Rabakti Anukra Mishanti goes from the ear to the heart and helps one progress gradually uh, to attain bhakti and ultimately prema, pure love of Krishna. Jabham Bhagwan ka naam sunte hai sabse pehle hame apne kano se sunna hai. Jab Bhagwan ka naam ham apne kaan karna mein dalte hai. Dheere dheere wo naam hamare hridai tak pohunchta hai. Or jab hridai tak naam pohunchta hai, phir ham apne poore jeevan ko Bhagwan ki bhakti mein laga sakte hai. So that, to me, that's the most effective way to get people to hear the holy name from a pure person such as Shri Prabhupada or hear Krishna Kata from Shri Prabhupada's books or hear from one of Shri Prabhupada's representatives who is following and chanting purely. So we have to do the most important thing in this life. If you Krishna Bhakt, if you want to grow in Krishna Bhakt, then you have to 
भगवान के शुद्ध भक्त से कृष्ण कथा कृष्ण कीर्तन आपने सुनना है और फिर आप आगे भक्ति में बढ़ सकते हो सो द सेकंड पार्ट ऑफ योर क्वेश्चन वाज यू नो हाउ टू कीप योरसेल्फ ऑन द स्पिरिचुअल प्लेटफॉर्म यस एंड दैट इन्वॉल्व्स समथिंग कॉल्ड साधना साधना बेसिकली मींस टू प्रैक्टिस एंड इन द बिगिनिंग ऑफ प्रैक्टिस यू हैव सर्टेन रूल्स एंड रेगुलेशंस से Sanskrit yes. word for that is vaidhi, uh, mm -hmm. such as chanting a certain number of rounds every day, offering mm -hmm. your food to Krishna, and uh, following a few simple restrictions like what we call the four regulated principles. So, आप सभी अपना प्रश्न कमेंट जरूर करें उस प्रश्नों का महाराजी उत्तर देंगे. आपने पूछा है कैसे हम कृष्ण भक्ति में आगे बढ़ सकते हैं महाराज जी समझा रहे हैं सबसे पहले हमें भक्ति में साधना करने की बहुत जरूरी है उसे कहते हैं वैदी भक्ति वैदी भक्ति साधना भक्ति क्या है वो है नियम का पालन करना है हमें जैसे सुबह जल्दी उठना है हरि नाम का सोला माला का जप करना है घर में जो भी खाना बनता है प्रसाद भगवान को भोग हमें लगाना है ऐसे चार नियमों का भी पालन हमें करना है तो हम निश्चित रूप भक्ति में रह सकते हैं एंड कीपिंग एसोसिएशन विद अदर स्पिरिचुअलिस्ट बिकॉज वी रिफ्लेक्ट इन आवर ओन कॉन्शियसनेस द एसोसिएशन ऑफ पीपल हु वी आर विद एंड देयर इज एन इंटरेस्टिंग वर्स इन द भगवद गीता दैट इलस्ट्रेट्स दिस इट इज कर्णम guna sangasha sadasa janma jonishu that whatever mode we associate with we develop that same mode in ourselves jis cheez ka sang hum lete hain sab kuch hamare jeevan mein sang pe nirbhar rehta hai agar aap acha sang rakhoge to aap acche banoge agar aap bura sang ko sang rakhne se aapka jeevan व्यर्थ होगा तो अच्छा संग भगवत गीता में भगवान श्री कृष्ण ने बताया है कारणम गुण संग से जिस संग से आप रहते हो उसी संग में आप बन जाओगे जैसा संग वैसा रंग आई थिंक दैट्स द मोस्ट एसेंशियल थिंग इफ वी नेचुरली कीप गुड एसोसिएशन वी विल फॉलो द साधन प्रोसेस एंड देन एज वी फॉलो द साधन प्रोसेस वी कम टू द प्लेटफॉर्म ऑफ रागनुग डूइंग थिंग्स स्पॉन्टेनियसली where we really mm. enjoy it actually there's enjoyment even in the beginning according to rupa goswami but the enjoyment increases to the extent of unlimited ecstasy unlimited pleasure ultimately sabhi aanand ko dhoond rahe sabhi ko aanand mein hi rehna hai to us aanand ko agar hame badhana hai to hari naam aur bhagwan ke sang mein hame rehna hai tabhi usko hum mehsoos kar sakte hain I can say in my own life I've been serving Krishna since 1971 actually before that but I joined the Krishna Conscious Society in 71 and uh, the happiness gets greater every day I'm enjoying myself like anything even though I'm an old man at 71 years old I mean how many people my age can do that <laughs> Maharaj ji keh rahe ke apne bachpan se hi wo bhakti mein jude hue hain पिछले 50 साल से भी अधिक वो इस भक्ति के मार्ग में जुड़े हुए हैं और उनको ऐसा महसूस होता है कि हमेशा और बढ़ता है आनंद बढ़ता ही रहता है तो जिन जिन को आनंद प्राप्त करना है वो भक्ति में रहे that the morning time is very good and I actually should have probably but recommended that too i usually mm -hmm. get up at 3 o'clock in the morning of course i'm not saying that any of you should do that <laughs> but uh, <laughs> it's a very peaceful <laughs> mode of goodness time that helps one focus on krishna and it sets the mood for the rest of the day so that the whole day you're in ecstasy no matter what you do जिनको भक्ति में बढ़ना है जो भगवान का भक्त बनना चाहता है महाराज जी कह रहे हैं कि सुबह का समय सबसे उत्तम होता है सुबह प्रतिदिन तीन बजे उठना है भगवान की सेवा में लगना है अगर हम उस समय उठेंगे जल्दी उठते हैं तो शुद्ध विचार शुद्ध कर्म शुद्ध भक्त हम बन सकते हैं 
And perhaps the uh, best way to make really rapid spiritual progress and really become in ecstasy quickly is you give other people Krishna consciousness, like Gormani here is doing. <laughs> Krishna says in the Gita that no one is more dear to me than he or she who gives others Krishna consciousness. And so we are very happy to see Gauramani doing that. And we know that because of that, she's very dear to Krishna. Thank you, Shagiri. So, kini kini ko anand anubhav karna hai. Sabhi kehte hai, kaise hum khush ra sakte hai, kaise anand hum praat kar sakte hai. So, Maharaj ji keh rahe hai ke isse badi cheez nahi hai. आप सभी के लिए एक चीज आपने इस लाइव वीडियो के बाद ये जो भगवान का जो ज्ञान है जो भगवान की जो शिक्षा है किसी और के साथ हमें बांटना है भगवान का नाम तो आप लेते हो लेकिन आपको किसी और को बोलना है आप भी हरि नाम का जप करो आप भी भगवान का नाम लो जब आप भगवान का प्रेम भगवान की शिक्षा बांटते हो उस आनंद से बड़ी चीज दुनिया में नहीं हो और वो भक्त सबसे प्रिय बन जाता है भगवान का सो यू हैव सम मोर क्वेश्चंस और यस एक्चुअली um there's a lot of people who are wondering how can they deal with the current crisis whether in the spiritual realm or material realm so even spiritually what can we what message can we give um to the people at this time during this pandemic mm. well one is, one is take shelter of Krishna's holy names. When in difficulty, when in distress, uh, chant the holy names. I was just listening to one of uh, the devotees uh, speaking about memories about Srila Prabhupada. And he said that whenever Prabhupada was in a very high stress situation, he would just mm -hmm. chant louder. He would pace his <laughs> and chant louder. And Prabhupada... <laughs> He had some really high stress situations when spreading the movement mm -hmm. and sometimes he had to fight people who didn't want Krishna consciousness to be known. Abhi humne poocha hai Maharaj ji aap sabhi ne poocha ke is ghadi mein hum kya kar sakte hai abhi jo pandemic situation hai uske liye kya hal hai kya upai hai to Maharaj ji ne ye bataya hai sabhi hal sabhi upai keval bhagwan ka naam हरि का नाम हमें लेना है भगवान श्री कृष्ण के शरण में हमें आना है केवल उस शरण से ही हम इस हाल से बाहर निकल सकते परम गुरुदेव प्रभुपाल जी ने भी बताया था कि जब वो किसी दुर्घटना किसी स्थिति में आते थे तो वो हरि नाम जोर जोर से बोलते थे क्योंकि वो ही इस कलयुग में और इस दिन में उपाय वो ही है And, you know, what I do sometimes... To feel better during these times, I put on a very nice song, for money. <laughs> and I listen to it, even Aww. though we're, we're all in lockdown. I listen to her chanting and I dance around my house, you know, even though. <laughs> so, in that way, we're going to. Oh, Krishna. Yeah, that's a good idea. Sorry about that one. But it, in that way, <laughs> even when you're locked down, if you take advantage of these electronic mediums and listen to uh, great people who chant like Gormani, then you can feel <laughs> great spiritual inspiration. Even in your own home, you can join with all the devotees in chanting the Lord's holy names. <laughs> See how you're going to translate that. Shilakir Dev Kare, ki jab hamara man जब हमारा मन खराब रहता है जैसे बाहर जो स्थिति है सभी जगह दुख हम देख रहे उस समय आप हरिनाम संकीर्तन को सुनिए और अपने घर में आप नृत्य कर सकते हैं आनंद ले सकते हैं महाराज जी कह रहे कभी कभी वो सुनते हैं कीर्तन को हरिनाम संकीर्तन को वो सुनते हैं उस पर नृत्य करते हैं और उनको केवल आनंद ही आनंद प्राप्त होता है तो आजकल के डिवाइस मीडिया हमारे सभी के पास मोबाइल सभी के पास है तो इस मोबाइल के द्वारा आप हरिनाम को सुन सकते हो और आप आनंद खुश मंगल में आप रह सकते हो तो इसमें आपने इस लाइव वीडियो को शेयर जरूर करना है क्योंकि हम चाहते हैं कि सभी को ये मैसेज सभी के पास पहुंचाए Uh, I don't think you mentioned that I listened to you when you translated that. 
महाराज जी कह रहे वो हमारे वो हमारे संकीर्तन को सुनते हैं और जब भी उनका मन परेशान रहता है वो हमारे संकीर्तन को सुनते उनको आनंद मिलता है और उस हरिनाम को सुनते सुनते बहुत ही खुश रहते हैं बहुत खुश हो जाते हैं <laughs> when you when you hear transcendental of sound you actually become transferred to the spiritual world goloka er premadana hari nam sankirtan that this goloka brindavan becomes transferred to this world and you become transferred to the spiritual world when you engage in hari nam sankirtan kyunki jo golok ka prem dhan hai golok golok ke er prem dhan hai hari nam sankirtan उस हरिनाम संकीर्तन को सुनने से ही हम इस भौतिक जगत में जहां पे दुख ही दुख है वहां से हम वापस भगवान के पास पहुंच जाते हैं उस हरिनाम को सुनने से ही सो बेस्ट मेथड इन दिस एज दैट इज द बेस्ट मेथड एंड ऑफ़ रीडिंग बुक्स इफ यू लाइक टू रीड टॉकिंग टू अदर पीपल offering some food to krishna have a nice little altar at home where you can offer food to krishna and this way you could be immersed in spiritual life even during the coronavirus lockdown i mean i'm i'm happier now than i was before <laughs> because yes. i'm getting more Thank opportunities you. to reach people through these electronic medium yes it's it's such a blessing it's amazing it's a much It's a much better time than usual. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I'm getting more preaching now than I've ever done throughout my whole life. Practically day yeah. and night, I get so many people asking me to give classes, to talk to them, and I can't keep up with it. Absolutely. And I save money so, on airline fares. Because <laughs> now we're all we can preach from the space that we're in from our homes. It's the best. So we have a question about vegetarianism and as we all know that vegetarianism is a must in spiritual life but could you enlighten us specifically to the youth that might be watching and and all the people how important vegetarianism is and why we choose vegetarianism All right uh one reason is uh all these different varieties all no, viruses sorry all these different viruses come from people who are raising animals for slaughter and that's a big reason right now so we could basically stop most of these viruses in their track if everyone became a vegetarian another reason is uh global warming most of the global warming uh is caused by the raising of animals cutting down of the rainforest the transportation of the meat the misuse of the resources on the earth another reason is your health i don't know if you can remember all these things or you want yeah let me get one at a time all right or one at a time <laughs> so okay. maharaj ji se poocha hai कि क्यों हमें शाकाहारी भोजन लेना है क्यों वेजिटेरियनिज्म हमें लेना है तो महाराज जी ने बताया कि सबसे बड़ी कारण है इस वायरस का आने का क्योंकि अलग अलग देशों में जो प्राणी को एनिमल्स को वो रेज करते हैं मारने के लिए तो उसका कारण ये वायरस वहीं से आ रहा है जो हत्या किए जा रहे अलग अलग देशों में प्राणियों का उसी से ये वायरस आ रहा है सो यू जस्ट टॉक्ड अबाउट द वायरस सो फार यस आई सेड टू द द रीजन या द रीजन वायरस अनदर रीजन इज ग्लोबल वार्मिंग एंड द इकोलॉजिकल डैमेज ऑन द अर्थ बिकॉज़ ऑफ द रेजिंग ऑफ एनिमल्स द कटिंग डाउन ऑफ द पूरे धरती में सबसे भी चीज जो हो रही है ग्लोबल वार्मिंग हो रही है जो अलग अलग देशों में रेन फॉरेस्ट खत्म हो जा रहे हैं क्योंकि वो एनिमल्स को खिलाना पड़ रहा है और एनिमल्स को मार के हम लोग सोच रहे हैं धरती में सबको शांति मिलेगी लेकिन यही कारण है कि सभी अभी बड़े दुखी में है बड़े सफरिंग कर रहे इसी के वजह से ग्लोबल वार्मिंग हो रहा है रेन फॉरेस्ट भी खराब हो रहे हैं और इसी को हमें खत्म करना है अनदर रीजन फॉर बीइंग अ वेजिटेरियन इज योर ओन हेल्थ योर बॉडी 
and uh, the digestive system in your body is meant to eat vegetables and grains and not meat. Jinko apni swast ka khyal rakhna hai. Jinko thoda sa bhi apna, apne aap ka khyal dekhna, apna health ko dekhna hai. To ye hume jana hai ki jo ye shereer hai, hume shakahari bhojan ke liye banaya hua hai. Jo maas hai, jo meat hai, usko khane ke liye nahi bana hai. And here, here's a big one. I was speaking to one of the doctor disciples that I have in Germany and he described when people eat meat, it causes things to happen in the body so that you're more mm. likely to die from the coronavirus. When we don't eat the non-veget, we have to do that in our body. There is a very big doctor in Germany, Dr. Germany. और गुरुदेव जी ने थोड़े दिन पहले उनसे बात किया बातचीत की उन्होंने यह बताया कि आपके शरीर में ऐसी चीजें होना शुरू हो जाता है जिससे बहुत जल्दी आपको मृत्यु होगी जो बहुत जल्दी आप मर जाओगे नॉन वेज खाने से हियर्स अनदर रीजन एंड इट्स कॉल्ड बैड कर्मा बिकॉज़ इफ यू ईट मीट लेट्स से ऑफ कोर्स इन इंडिया पीपल ईट गोट्स और व्हाटएवर दे ईट दे आई नो दैट <laughs> so then, guess what? In your next life, you're going to be a goat. I mean, most of us don't want to be goats or pigs or any animal like that. I'd prefer to be a human being serving Krishna my next life. If we kill a person, if we kill a person, if we kill a person, we have to become that person in the next life. Whether you eat whatever you eat, whatever you do, अगले जन्म में आपको वो ही भुगतना होगा तो क्या आप बनना चाहते हो उसी प्राणी को और कोई आपको आके मारेंगे ये आपका चॉइस है प्रभात सेड समथिंग वेरी फनी वन टाइम ही वाज रेफरिंग टू अ अ चेन ऑफ चिकन स्टोर्स कॉल्ड केएफसी एंड आई थिंक यू हैव दैट इन इंडिया टू द केएफसी चिकन स्टोर्स एंड प्रभात सेड द पर्सन हु इज द फाउंडर आचार्य ऑफ द चिकन स्टोर्स person who started mm-hmm. it his name is colonel sanders he said he will have to take a chicken birth for every chicken that's ever sold in any one of his stores not a good idea oh my goodness to hamare param guru dev ji shri prabhupad ji ne ye baat batayi hai unhone bataya hai ki jo kfc chicken ka jo store hai wo america se abhi india mein bhi aa chuka hai to kfc prabhupad ji ne bataya ki uska jo malik hai Mr. Sanders, Colonel Sanders, उसको बताया कि जितने चिकन को उन्होंने जितने जितने अपने रेस्टोरेंट में लोगों ने मार के खाए, उतने उसको जन्म लेने पड़ेंगे और उतने जन्म उसको मारेंगे। तो क्या आप यही हाल चाहते हो? So another reason for being vegetarian, I'm giving a whole bunch of reasons. Yeah, it's great. Is, is that. Uh, uh, we're harming other living entities someone who has any ethical principles or moral principles or has feelings for others how could you in your heart want to harm and cause extreme pain to any animal any of god's creatures and all of krishna's creatures are all his parts and parcels and just as dear to krishna as you and i are तो जब हम प्राणी की हत्या करते हैं जीव की हत्या करते हैं तो उस जीव को दर्द पहुंचता है क्या आप उस जीव को दर्द देना चाहते हो वो भी कृष्ण का प्राणी है वो भी जीव कृष्ण का जीव है तो आप जरा सोचे थोड़ी देर के लिए भी अगर आप सोचोगे किसी की हत्या करने से किसी को दर्द दुख पहुंचाने से क्या आपको कभी शांति मिलेगी and perhaps the most important reason for being vegetarian is that we want to eat prasad that is the mercy of krishna and krishna does not accept anything non veg so krishna in the gita says offer me a leaf of fruit a little water atram pushpam palam toyam yome bhakta prayachati with love and devotion and by eating that food one becomes spiritualized one becomes happy i remember the first time i took prasadam at the temple I became so ecstatic I couldn't stop eating. And Prabhupada actually recommended that when you first start taking prasadam you eat so much you fill up to your neck. 
तो सबसे बड़ा कारण आप सब हमारे साथ लाइव जुड़े हो किशन सिंह किशन प्रेम नारायण पांडे मोहन राव कुंदन कुमार सत्यनारायण मीना जी राखी अरोरा जी आप बड़े ध्यान से सुन रहे हो बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद महाराज जी कह रहे हैं कि सबसे बड़ी चीज हम क्यों नॉन वेज नहीं लेते सिर्फ वेज का खाना खाते क्योंकि भगवान श्री कृष्ण का प्रसाद महाप्रसाद को हमें ग्रहण करना है उसके अलावा हम कुछ नहीं लेते हैं और भगवान केवल जो प्रेम से उनको पत्र पुष्प फल और जल ये चार चीजें लेते हैं और उन्हीं को प्रभु के सेवा में लगाना है और वो महाप्रसाद बन जाता है नॉन वेज तो नहीं लेते भगवान तो हम भी नहीं लेते महाप्रसाद खाने से आपको आनंद और शांति मिलेगा Now remember the animals are your brothers and sisters. So I don't think any of you would want to eat one of your brothers and sisters. I don't think <laughs> any of you out there are cannibals. <laughs> one of the one of the places I preach in is called Fiji. It used to be the cannibal islands and wow. they used to eat the ministers that came there to preach to them. So that's wow. really low class. Please do not eat your brothers and sisters. That's my <laughs> request to all of you fantastic to maharaj ji keh rahe hain ki jo prani hai wo hamare bhai behan hai hamare apne hi hai kyunki wo bhi bhagwan ke jeev hai hum bhi bhagwan ke jeev hai to kya apne bhai behan ki hatya koi karna chahenge ya unko maarna chahenge ya unko khana chahenge jaise maharaj ji fiji mein jate hain aur fiji islands mein pehle zamane mein जो मनुष्य को खाते हैं वैसे लोग वहां रहते थे और वहां पे जो भी राक्षस वहां से तो पीजी आईलैंड में राक्षस सब जाते थे और राक्षस सभी को खाते थे जो भी वहां प्रचार के लिए जाते थे उनको भी खा लेते थे <laughs> तो आप राक्षस बनना चाहते हो या कृष्ण भक्त सो वी हैव अ फ्यू क्वेश्चंस दैट आर कमिंग इन फ्रॉम आवर ऑडियंस आई जस्ट वांटेड टू शाउट आउट टू सम ऑफ आवर व्यूअर्स वी हैव विक्ट्री वल मुरुगन एंड वी आर ऑल ऑफ यू जॉइनिंग अस लाइव फ्रॉम कहां-कहां से आप लाइव जुड़े हो and some of the students here in um in our community and his name is krish krish sharma so he always asks very nice questions and we'll definitely uh have him meet you one day shogirde when right. you come back to overda so i'm going to show his question here and um he has a question how to be perfect in bhakti how to engage our mind more and more in bhakti read the whole question hari krishna maharaj Thank you so much for giving us such an amazing devotee to us as Guru Mani. Oh, Mahani, oh, oh Krishna! And I have one question <laughs> <laughs> as to how to be perfect in bhakti, how to engage our mind more and more in bhakti. Uh, again, the best way, apart from following the practices of bhakti, is to share bhakti with others. Because if mm-hmm. the best way to learn anything is to actually teach it and practice it. you know if you just learn something it just goes in one ear out another but once you practice it you learn more but once you teach it you learn it 100% so he understands english <laughs> but oh, i think oh, i'll go ahead and for other people to mara ji keh rahe jaise pehle bhi unhone samjhaya bhakti mein agar aapko aage badhna hai to aapko khud bhakti mein rehna hai lekin us bhakti ko aur drid agar aapko banana hai उस भक्ति को आगे आपको बढ़ाना है प्रचार करना है उसको प्रचार करने से आपकी भक्ति और मजबूत हो जाती है कृष शर्मा आपको भी भक्ति करनी है और आपको प्रचार भी करना है तो और मजबूत होगा वेरी गुड सो अदर क्वेश्चंस यस वी हैव अनदर क्वेश्चन एंड दैट्स फ्रॉम रिया कपूर I will put that on the screen. She says Guru Dev ji, I wanted to ask about superstition. Some people believe in them, some do not. Are some of them actually real? 
<laughs> well, the way the way you can tell whether something is real or not is whether it's mentioned in the shastras or the scriptures. Now, sometimes you'll have traditions where there's a superstition. I'll give you mm -hmm. one example. One is this whole superstition about every time you yawn, you're supposed to snap your fingers <laughs> because something will happen evil. But that's not in the scriptures at all. So we right. don't accept that superstition. All right. So we have to examine things according to what we call Guru Shastra and Sadhu. कोई भी सुपरस्टिशन जो है क्या उसको हमें मानना है या नहीं मानना है तो वो सुपरस्टिशन एंड हाउ डू वी से सुपरस्टिशन इन हिंदी आई एम नॉट सो श्योर बट सुपरस्टिशन जो हम मानते हैं कि जब उबासी लेते हैं तो अगर उंगली को ऐसे से घुमाने से छुटकी करने से वो चला जाएगा तो क्या शास्त्र में लिखा है ये चीज क्या साधु ने हमें बताया है तो इन सब इन तीनों चीजों से शास्त्र साधु एंड वन गुरु 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 शास्त्र और साधु इन तीन चीजों से हमें ज्ञान मिलता है उन्हीं को हमें उन्हीं का पालन हमें करना है बिना गुरु बिना शास्त्र के बिना गुरु शास्त्र साधु 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 गुरु और शास्त्र इन तीनों के बिना हम आगे नहीं बढ़ सकते और किसी चीज को सुनने से कहने से मानने से कुछ नहीं होता वेल आई टेल यू अ फनी जोक अबाउट दिस यस वंस वंस अपॉन अ टाइम आई सॉ वन ऑफ द डिवोटीज डूइंग दिस ही वाज स्नैपिंग हिज फिंगर्स इन फ्रंट ऑफ हिज माउथ एंड या एट दैट टाइम आई डिडंट नो व्हाट इट वाज एंड आई थॉट मेबी ही इज हंग्री सो लेट मी ब्रिंग हिम समथिंग ओह कृष्णा ओह माय गॉडनेस तो एक बार महाराज जी ने देखा कोई उबासी ले रहे थे और ऐसे उंगली ऐसे से कर रहे थे महाराज जी ने कभी देखा नहीं था पहले उबासी लेते हुए ऐसे से करते हुए उन्होंने सोचा शायद इनको भूख लगी है तो उनके लिए मैं प्रसाद लेके आऊ तो वो प्रसाद लेकर आए उसके लिए सो एनीवे गुरु शास्त्र साधु कृष्ण राजेश जी ने पूछा है अनियन गार्लिक के बारे में कुछ बताए वाई शुड वी अवॉइड अनियन एंड गार्लिक वाई डिट इज नॉट टेक डोंट टेक अनियन एंड गार्लिक वेल वी कैन टेक दम एज अ मेडिसिन दे आर आयुर्वेदिक मेडिसिन फॉर एग्जाम्पल नॉट एज फूड बट गार्लिक इन एक्चुअली इज गुड फॉर हाई ब्लड प्रेशर इट्स अ जेनरल एंटी वायरल एंटीसेप्टिक लाइक दैट सो all the plants have some medicinal use to pyaanj aur lasan maharaj ji keh rahe hain ki dawai ke roop mein koi koi log lete hain uske fayde bhi hain isko dawai ke roop mein lene ka usme fayda hai but if you take them as food they are connected with the lower modes of nature see the ayurveda which is the study of diet and health uh distinguishes food according to different modes of nature and how it affects the body so onions and garlic put your consciousness in a lower mode particularly the mode of ignorance to ayurved mein hame bataya gaya hai alag alag khana alag alag bhojan lene se gun mein hamara man pe prabhav hota hai agar hum satvik खाना खाएंगे अगर राजसिक अगर तामसिक खाना खाएंगे तो हमारी मन की स्थिति ऐसा ही बनेगा तो प्याज लहसुन अनियन गार्लिक को खाने से हमारे जो मानसिक स्थिति है वो तामसिक बन जाता है फॉर एग्जांपल इन सम ऑफ द एयरलाइंस देयर इज अ रिस्ट्रिक्शन द पायलट्स आर नॉट अलाउड टू टेक गार्लिक सो मेनी आवर्स बिफोर फ्लाइंग बिकॉज़ इट रिड्यूसेस देयर रिस्पांस to different stimuli in yeah. other words the pilot is a lot slower in understanding if there's danger or when he has to do something that's a scientific fact jaise maharaj ji keh rahe ke pilot jo hota hai jahaz ko chalane se pehle mana hai use pyaaj lasan lene ka kyunki uski jo focus hai concentration hai wo kam ho jati hai to wo dhyan nahi de payega 
जहाज को चलाने में पायलट को मना किया हुआ क्योंकि उसकी कॉन्शियसनेस तामसिक बन जाती है सो यू कैन यू कैन गेट अ सिमिलर टेस्ट टू गार्लिक विदाउट द बैड थिंग विद एस्वेटिडा और हिंग यस तो अगर आपको खाना टेस्टी बनाना हो स्वादिष्ट बनाना हो तो आप अपना खाने में हिंग एस्वेटिडा एस्वेटिडा को यूज कर सकते हो खाने में वो ही स्वाद बन जाता है हिंग का इस्तेमाल आप जरूर कीजिए अपने घरों में <laughs> no bad effects from those things no bad effects isme koi bura aapke man mansik sthiti nahi hogi we have another question and this is a very nice question yeah amit um, sharma dandvat pranam maharaj ji kindly suggest steps to get initiated from a bona fide spiritual master when does one become eligible for initiation One becomes eligible for initiation when one is fixed in chanting 16 rounds of the Japa Mala, Hari Krishna Maha Mantra every day, and uh, is following the four regulated principles, and can do it for the rest of their lives. That's first initiation. Very very yeah. simple. तो जिन जिन को दीक्षा लेनी है महाराज जी कह रहे हैं दीक्षा लेने के लिए केवल बहुत ही सरल है आपने हरिनाम का जप 16 माला का जप और चार नियमों का पालन करना है और ये आपको हरिनाम दीक्षा मिल सकता है एंड आई विल टेल देम दैट इफ दे वुड लाइक टू कांटेक्ट यू देन द बेस्ट वे टू कांटेक्ट यू इज अम यू आर अवेलेबल ऑन ईमेल ऑल राइट ईमेल और uh let's say whatsapp you can give them information whatsapp yeah just email or facebook yeah facebook messengers and and if i could just give your email this is your page so what is the email address that they is can that contact my page you? i don't think it's my page it's oh, my page that's one of, that's my page give them my timeline okay your timeline and that is yeah the time Facebook. my timeline is uh facebook.com BK Goswami, right? BK Goswami, yeah. I think it's just right. BK Goswami. The timeline. Yeah. Contact me on the timeline, Facebook Messenger. They can send me a message. जिन जिन को दीक्षा के लिए जो पूछ रहे हैं, वो BK Goswami पे आप इस पे कनेक्ट कर सकते हैं. महाराज जी को आप मैसेज भी भेज सकते हैं. And is there an email address where they can send? Yeah, uh, the email address is. I'll give you the simple one. You know it. Uh, bk goswami at earthlink.net i think you know okay. that one right yes we will just keep that a... there mm -hmm. and we will show that to the devotees who are asking to to contact you and um, for initiation if they have further questions then they can also contact you great and we have a, a few more questions that are coming in sure so let's go ahead i have to there's quite a few people actually we had a, a lot of people who had joined us a thousand over a thousand people watching us live now they've come the, the watch has come down a little bit but dawai ke roop mein lene se paap nahi hai somebody is asking uh to take the um onion and garlic as medicine but uh i just is that okay and that's okay the way ke roop mein aap le sakte ho so um i think that is the last question that i see here i'm scrolling through um let's see Uh, I think uh, the last question if you could just give a message for the youth for today and how can they how can the youth make a difference in their own lives and for coronavirus what they can do <laughs> Well as far as the youth <laughs> uh this is actually an important question that I asked myself when I was young which was about 200 years ago uh I asked myself <laughs> I ask myself the question what is the purpose of life how can i help people what is the purpose of life what is my purpose and i right. went through all sorts of different purposes of course my mother thought my purpose was to become a doctor 
But then mm-hmm. I figured that, that wasn't my purpose because I wanted to help people substantially and permanently. So ask yourself, what is my goal in life? What mm-hmm. do I hope to achieve? What can I achieve that will never be lost? What can guarantee me eternal happiness? In other words, the goal, the why. You know, so many times in life we, we know the how and where and what. But we don't think of the why, you know, why am I living? What is the purpose? And I think that's really what the youth have to ask themselves. And based on that, it should be a no-brainer, Krishna consciousness. (laughs) Can translate Mm -hmm. that? Yes, I can translate that. So our youth ke liye ye message hai aur wo message hai ki sabse badi cheez hume ye janna hai ki hum kaun hai aur hume kya karna hai और हम क्यों करते हैं इन सभी चीजों को जीवन का क्या उद्देश्य है जीवन का क्या गोल है लाइफ में आप क्या प्राप्त करना चाहते हो और कैसे उसे हम प्राप्त कर सकते हैं ये सबसे पहले हमें पूछना है फिर हमें कोई भी चीज हम हमें करना है जीवन में ग्रेट ऑल राइट सो देयर इज वन um question that's come in and she says Rhea Kapoor says that one of her friends and her were debating that now it's not the time for her to go into spiritual life she's recently joined our team here she's from Dehradun a very sweet nice girl um but she finds it difficult these young you know very enthusiastic devotees find it difficult because of their peers and they don't have you know the friends say why are you trying to be krishna hari krishna krishna conscious what can she do what well, she did let me relate a story about a little boy who was 5 years old his name was mm-hmm. balad maharaj uh, yeah. he was going to school and his friend he was trying to teach them about krishna they said you know we're just kids you know we got plenty of time this krishna consciousness is for old people so he said basically you're making an excuse now because you're five years old. Later on, you're going to make an excuse to your teenagers. Later on, you're going to make an excuse that you just got married. Later on, you're going to make an excuse that you have to work. Later on, you're going to make an excuse because you're too old. And then 50% of the time, you got a good excuse because you're sleeping. Yes. So, so you always have an excuse. But what, what are you doing in life that's of value to others? How are you helping others? You got to have a mission in life. Think about your mission. It's still the same question. What is the purpose of your life? What is your mission? God sent you here to do something, not just to fool around. Maharaj Ji, we are telling this, especially the youth, 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 आपको लाइफ में क्या गोल हासिल करना है जैसे प्रहलाद महाराज जी कितने उम्र के थे छोटा सा बालक केवल 5 साल का बालक था उसने बताया कि ऐसा कौन सा समय है जब हमें भक्ति में आगे बढ़ना है ऐसा कोई समय नहीं है क्या जब आप बड़े हो जाओगे जब पढ़ाई के बाद जब आप बूढ़े हो जाओगे जब आपके दिमाग नहीं चलेगा शरीर नहीं चलेगा तब क्या आप भक्ति में बढ़ोगे या अभी का समय है तो आप ये बता सकते हो कि समय को नहीं देखना है अभी हमें हमारे लाइफ में हमें गोल्स देखने हैं क्या हम दे सकते हैं अपने आप को और दुनिया को कैसे बदल सकते हम like I, I took up full time Krishna consciousness when I was 20 or 21 years old and my friends were angry they were really angry <laughs> Because wow. you know, I was I was taking care of them. I was more or less the leader of my friends, and they were super angry. And I said, "Prabhupada is calling me. <laughs> Time to go." And I, and I've had more fun in Krishna consciousness than I could have had in any other way. And I had all material facilities previously. Yes. So Maharaj Ji, or Kaval Panch Minute, or Ham Live Hongi, if you have any questions, then you can comment on your question. Maharaj Ji has said that when he came to the Bhakti, when he came to the Bhakti, when 
उनके फ्रेंड्स जो थे उनके जो मित्र गण थे कोई भी खुश नहीं था उनसे नाराज थे क्यों आप भक्ति में लगे हो अमेरिका में उनका जीवन बड़े हुए हैं अमेरिका में और वहां पे अमेरिका में कोई भक्ति में नहीं थे वो अकेले थे उन्होंने भक्ति मार्ग में आगे वो बढ़े उनके मित्र बहुत ही नाराज थे गुस्से में थे फिर भी उन्होंने निश्चित रूप बोला कि यही समय है भक्ति में आगे बढ़ने का तो आप ये मत देखिए कि कौन खुश खुश है कौन नाराज है आपको अगर यही कर करना है तो यही आपको आगे भक्ति में लगना है और आई थिंक दैट्स गुड आई थिंक वी हैव वन शिल्पा Uh, there's one devotee and she's kind of desperate shilpa sharma is uh requesting for blessings <laughs> so <laughs> shilpa sharma ji maharaj ji ka aashirwad ke liye aapko humne yaad kiya hari krishna aapko and sharad kumar gore is asking what time is it so he's a very sincere uh devotee from hyderabad we had visited hyderabad um in february i believe or no it was in december or january and they had a rathi after there and so shard kumar he's very sincere they're chanting 16 rounds and we would love for him to meet you when you come i've told them all that you will be coming okay. to govardhan and so he's one of those very nice sincere devotees um who would like to meet with you and take initiation from you so shard kumar gorji It's also a very nice. He wants, know, he wants to know when I. He wants to know when I'm live. <laughs> yes. I to get. Uh, you should get from him, or he can text me on Facebook Messenger his phone number, and I okay. send out a notices on WhatsApp. All right. And yes. He will get a notice every time on the WhatsApp we live, list, or so we can get yeah, him onto the WhatsApp, WhatsApp list. list. Okay. Yes, yeah, so anyone who wants to know when I'm on live, then get their number and I'll put them on my WhatsApp list. Okay. I will give him I'll get his number and then send it to you. We have one last question I think. Okay. Uh, sure, that ahead. is it's a it's a very funny question and it's a very amusing question, but somebody's asking how can enjoy an hour life? How can we enjoy an hour life? It's a Chant, great dance and eat prasadam. <laughs> and uh focus your loving propensity on Krishna because the reason we're not happy the reason we're trying out all these different things in this world is we are frustrated. You know, every time we try something there's a satiation point. We get filled and we think, "Oh, no more." I mean, for example, how long can you go on eating? you can only eat until your stomach's full and then the same food would appear to be maybe not disgusting but not appealing so we want unlimited happiness and that can be done by being krishna conscious you could still do the same thing you could dance you can chant you could have friends you can eat amazing food i mean there's nothing lacking you can do everything but focus it on krishna तो कैसे आप एंजॉय कर सकते हो लाइफ में तो महाराज जी कह रहे सबसे बड़ी चीज हम ये सोचते हैं ऐसी चीज हम करें जिससे हमेशा हम खुश रह सकते लेकिन ऐसी कोई चीज नहीं अगर वो ही खाना जो एक दिन अच्छा लगा दो दिन अच्छा लगा लेकिन तीसरा दिन आपको खाने की इच्छा ही नहीं होगी तो ऐसी कौन सी चीज है जो जिससे आपको हमेशा एंजॉयमेंट हमेशा खुशी मिलेगी वो केवल भगवान की सेवा भगवान की भक्ति और भगवान के नाम को लेने में लेने से आनंद बढ़ता ही रहता है कभी खत्म नहीं होता है आनंद तो लाइफ में एंजॉय अगर आपको करना है तो केवल भगवान की सेवा भगवान की भक्ति भगवान का नाम आप लीजिए सो जस्ट वन मोर मानस किरण इस इज माय दंडवत प्रणाम्स टू महाराज Mataji can you please request Marsh to bless my family we live in Australia my boys names are Nitai Nimai please bless, bless them too Bless him so where in Australia do you live 
ऑस्ट्रेलिया में वेर डू यू लिव कहाँ रहते हो मानसा किरण पब्बा सो शी हैज आल्सो बीन इन टच विथ अस फॉर अ वाइल एंड आई एम नॉट श्योर बट आई विल आस्क हर एंड वी वेट फॉर हर कमेंट टू कम बैक बट इशिता एंड इफ यू हैव टू लीव आई कैन एंड द आई डोंट आई डोंट हैव टू लीव बट आई बट आई विजिट ऑस्ट्रेलिया रेगुलरली और आई विल व्हेन देयर इज नो वायरस ऑफ कोर्स Oh Melbourne she's in Melbourne in Melbourne I have quite a few disciples in Melbourne So Marge can aapke ghar aa sakte hai aap se baat kar sakte hai jab bhi wo Melbourne jate hain Australia mein jate hain prachar ke liye unke bahut shishya hai Melbourne mein to aap zarur Marge ji se miliye wahan ja ke Okay uh give if she sends me her information I'll put her in touch with some of my disciples there Uh agar aap apna information mujhe bhejoge तो आप महाराज जी के शिष्य से मिल सकते हो और अच्छा आपको लगेगा कॉन्शियसनेसिंग um very fired up girl she's done her education she's also educated in computers uh in the computer field she has her degree but she has a difficulty in making her friends devotees and they feel alone sometimes what should she do make a lot of prasadam for your friends <laughs> oh good <laughs> idea because it's very hard to convince people with philosophy so we convince mm. people with love ददाति प्रतिकरणाति गुयम अक्यति पृच्छति प्रति लक्षण बाय गिविंग पीपल प्रसादम एक्सेप्टिंग प्रसादम एंड गिविंग गिफ्ट्स एंड एक्सेप्टिंग गिफ्ट्स इफ यू डू दैट आई एम श्योर योर फ्रेंड्स विल बिकम अट्रैक्टेड टू कृष्ण कॉन्शियसनेस तो महाराज जी ने ये बताया है कि भक्ति में अपने दोस्तों को मित्रों को फ्रेंड्स को अगर आपको लेके आना है तो कभी कभी बहुत मुश्किल आपको लगता है लेकिन अगर आप प्रसाद बनाओगे अच्छा सा प्रसाद स्वादिष्ट बनाओ और अपने फ्रेंड्स को खिलाओ तो उसी से अपने आप उनका दिल शुद्ध हो जाएगा उस शुद्धि से फिर वो भगवान की तरफ आकर्षित होंगे अनुपमा कुमारी हाउ कैन वी डू अफेंस महाराज <laughs> How can we do offenses, Daddy? Well, obviously you're aware of the ten offenses which have to be avoided, but the main way is by serving Vaishnavas. One can actually overcome offenses, which are sometimes uh, called anarthas, a type of anartha, by serving the Vaishnavas, considering yourself to be a servant of a servant of a servant of a servant of the Lord. who maintains the gopis in brindavan gopi bard to parakamala dasa 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 anu dasa to agar aapko bhagwan ka naam bina offenses nishpap jap jab hum karte hain to aapko pata hoga ke mahamantra ke prati 10 aparadh hai un 10 aparadhon se hame dur rehna hai bina 10 aparadh ke महामंत्र का जाप नहीं करना है और हमेशा ये याद रखना है कि हम भगवान के नित्य दास हैं दास अनुदास 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 और हम ब्रिज गोपिया के दासी हम बनने की इच्छुक हैं और उसी भाव में जब हम जप करते हैं तो हम भगवान का नाम शुद्ध नाम हम ले सकते हैं इन एडिशन बिफोर यू चैट यू शुड हैव सम संकल्प इन अदर वर्ड्स यू शुड ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड why you're chanting what is your purpose and focus on that purpose while you're chanting the holy names like mm-hmm. lord chaitanya mahaprabhu gives us some hint in his shikshashtaka o son of nanda maharaj i am your eternal servant but somehow or other i've fallen down into this horrible material world please fix me up at one of the atoms at your lotus feet 
तो जब करने से पहले जितने भी भक्त अभी हमारे साथ जुड़े हो अगर आपको शुद्ध हरिनाम का जप करना है तो सबसे पहले हमें एक संकल्प रखना है अपने मन में जैसे चैतन्य महाप्रभु शिक्षाष्टक में हमें बताते हैं कि हे मेरे प्रभु आप अपने चरण रज की धूली आप बनाइए और अपने चरणों में आप रखिए ये संकल्प रख के फिर हम जब जप करते हैं तो हम शुद्ध नाम का जप कर सकते हैं शर्म शर्म से हरे कृष्ण गुरुदेव श्री नीतम्बा फ्रॉम क्राइस्ट चर्च न्यूजीलैंड इज गुरु मार्ज कमिंग टू क्राइस्ट चर्च न्यूजीलैंड समटाइम Well, I I don't think Guru Maharaj can travel for a while <laughs> until this coronavirus <laughs> thing is over. Oh, yeah. Nobody wants. We don't want to go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> we want to be completely safe. Um, well, you can, this you can time. come up and you can come and see me when I'm able to travel, and I go to Auckland regularly. Okay. So, Shugurdev, Christchurch, New Zealand, अभी वो ट्रैवल नहीं करेंगे लेकिन वो न्यूजीलैंड जरूर आते हैं ऑकलैंड न्यूजीलैंड आएंगे तो जब वो ऑकलैंड न्यूजीलैंड आएंगे तो आप जरूर उनसे मिल सकते हो एंड वी वॉन्ट टू शेयर द लिंक टू योर बुक एज वेल रियलाइजिंग आवर एम्पैथिक नेचर कनेक्टेड टू कृष्णा गुरुदेव जी ने तीन बुक्स लिखे हैं और उन तीनों में से सबसे रीसेंट है रियलाइजिंग आवर एम्पैथिक नेचर कैसे अपना अपने आप को समझना और दूसरे का स्वभाव समझना तो ये अमेजोन पे आप ले सकते हो दिस बुक इज अवेलेबल ऑन अमेजोन फॉर दोज ऑफ यू हु वुड लाइक टू गेट दिस बुक यू कैन इवन गेट द किंडल किंडल वर्जन भी है घर पे बैठ के भी आप पढ़ सकते हो और हिंदी में भी मिलने वाला है थोड़ी देर में All right. All right, Shubha Gurudev, thank you so much. Um, it was very ecstatic for all the viewers, <laughs> and thank you for your kind blessings. And we pray that all viewers can receive the blessings of Krishna through you. And so we we're so so honored to have you. I'll go and, to uh, you, Shilgur. Thank yes. you very much for being an example of a first-class disciple. I try, Shilgur. <laughs> I don't think I'm first-class at all, but yeah. but we do want to request all the viewers while you're still here to make sure you share this live video. If you want to share this message, Shilgur Dave is here joining us. He's with us live from America, from North Carolina, USA. and i had the great privilege which i wasn't able to share earlier of being raised under his shelter bachpan se main inhi ke sharan mein badi hui hu north carolina america mein maine apni shiksha aur diksha dono maine paaye hai gurudev ji se to jo bhi mil sakte hai when will you be coming back to india for those of the devotees who would like to meet with you do we have when, any plans uh when is the corona virus over <laughs> okay So right now we don't know, but जब corona virus खत्म होगा तो महाराज जी जरूर आएंगे. It's actually going to be the first time that we are still here in Vrindavan, which is very ecstatic. It's the greatest blessing of my life to be here. Um, but when it's over, then you'll be coming. Yes, is that when right? It's over, I'll be coming. Yes. Are you planning? Well, yeah, you won't be planning to come in the summer, obviously, because not not the summer, and I think it, it'll wait until they get a virus for the a uh, vaccine, vaccine. Sorry, a vaccine for the virus. Right, right, right. So we're waiting for the vaccine, which, sure. Which is possible in October. It is possible in October, but you think it's it, that's going to take that long? Well, that's very short. Most oh, likely, it'll be January to March when they get the vaccine. Okay. October is the first possibility. And and because you are the health minister of Iskon, um just a a quick question, how safe is it to go outside? Um just to go outside? <laughs> it's it's, it's very safe, safe to go outside if nobody's there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. 
<laughs> going outside is is amazing. It's just when you're inside is the problem with a lot of people. And mm. uh, specifically, you should be careful when I hate to say this, but when you're in an inside cure time, because mm. people catch the virus through the aerosol that comes from the mouth, and when wow. one says Krishna, it goes mm. out everywhere. Uh, there have been some mm. uh, studies of. Uh, Christian organizations that have prematurely opened up and uh, they had like 80 or 90 people in the choir chanting oh. and one person gave it to everyone except for three people in the choir. Mm -hmm. So uh, I would be extremely careful about any enclosed chanting. I mean, kirtan right now. I think it's a no. Yes. तो हमने महाराज जी से ये पूछा है कि ये कोरोना वायरस के सिचुएशन में क्या हम बाहर जा सकते हैं तो महाराज जी बोला बाहर तो जा सकते हैं लेकिन अगर कोई वहां ना हो तब ही आप जाइए और खास करके एक छोटे बंद कमरे में बहुत सारी भीड़ या बहुत सारे लोग अगर आएंगे बहुत जल्दी वायरस फैल जाएगा एक चर्च खोला था थोड़े दिन पहले वहां पे काफी लोग आ गए थे और वहां पे केवल तीन लोगों को नहीं मिला बाकी सभी को वायरस मिला तो सभी अपने घर पे रहिए और सभी सुरक्षित रहिए महाराज जी ये कह रहे हैं एंड वेयर अ मास्क इफ यू आर गोइंग आउट एंड देयर एनी अदरबडी एल्स अराउंड यू हु यू डोंट नो अगर आप बाहर जा रहे हैं तो जरूर आपने मास्क पहनना है अपने आप का सुरक्षित के लिए अपने आप की सुरक्षा के लिए ओके ऑलराइट थैंक यू सो गुड डे Bless you. Yes. Thank <laughs> you. Right. Thank you so good. Hi Krishna. Bye.